Welcome back to a day in Miami podcast. Eddie Moya, what up? Yeah, we have a very interesting guest today. We have the guest today. Es lo que hay. El caballo, baby. The world's strongest comedian and my favorite Instagram follower. Real name is? What's Marcos Tavares. Tavares. What's up, Avion? Nice to be coming. here, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I see. I noticed no hair. You had famous hair. That long it, hair. Dog. It was time to let it go. Now you look the like a bulldog. Well you got a leaner, too, more muscular. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We're doing the WWE, though, right? I love it. I love it. He looks clean. This guy or they say some stupid shit on his Instagram. And then I like, bro, you actually pull up on this guy, you're going to die. You no, know, no. He looks, he like, keep he, it, he looks keep it as duty, a keyboard bro. warrior. Because, yeah, he looks heavy duty. You know what I'm saying? You're talking shit, you're going to show up, you're going to get based up. But, 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 the primo hey, motherfuckers don't know I weigh 275, bro. Solid. For Touch real? This guy. Touch him, Motherfuckers Touch don't know I weigh 275. Dead. I'm a big guy. And, and mira, he looks like a pit bull without a chain. Yeah, yeah. So what's up, Bobby? How are you? Welcome. Chilling, brother. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you, bro. This guy, been following this guy, stalking this guy for a long time, bro, ever since... uh his beginning days with Pepe Villeta that we were just talking about Damn, earlier. Damn, bro. And he, he, he's just funny. I was talking to him and then letting him know that, like, when he, I see him on Instagram, he does what I think. Like, todas las locuras in my mind are, like, you know, visualized when, when he does his comedy, bro. So, yeah, you it's, know, it's always... Pero, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been pretty sweet deal being able to, to make a living off of saying exactly whatever the fuck I think, Doug. Because yeah. that, that's what it all comes down to. Everybody... everybody that's what I think everybody likes about my shit the most, that I really don't hold back. You don't, bro. Yeah. You don't. And you, you actually help a lot of people, like, vent and watch shit like that because it's good to laugh. And But you know what? I think also the way you express yourself, and, you know, I just met you, you know, a couple minutes ago. Um, you feel like a person who's very free, you know? Um, and I think being able to say whatever the hell you want gives you that freedom, you know? And not a lot of people like that. A lot of people pull back, you know? No, I get you. And... and to to that point, I think that that's another reason people like it because they see me doing it and they're like, ah, coño. Yeah. This motherfucker can say whatever the fuck he wants. You know, I can I can chip in. And, and, and I notice. I notice it when I'm around people. You can tell that they loosen up. Yeah. Especially when you keep it real, they, people yeah. tend to loosen up and feel like they can too. Do they sometimes loosen up a little too much? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. But then that's more content for him because he's just going to laugh and talk about it. For the most part, I, bro, people, when, when they see me on the street, it's sort of like a, they, they, they feel like they've known me for 15 years. Of course. You yeah, well, they follow me. Absolutely. And, absolutely. and again, a, a lot of my banter is like the way you and I would be having a fucking conversation. For sure, bro. So, yeah, I, I can totally understand them for feeling like they, they, like they know me. But now, uh, for those of you who don't know you, um, give us a little history of how you started. I mean, obviously, you know, were you always, yeah, you always like comedy or how you started to it? Where was your your original opportunities come about? Yeah, so I was telling Kegel this earlier that I, my entire life, thought I was going to be a professional baseball player. Okay, and I, 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 I was raised with the, the rawest ones. I My graduating <laughs> class, I mean, had Sean Rodriguez, Robert Valido, Guille. We had like five or six People from my class go to the pros. And, and I grew up with that whole class in Flagami, Hardball. Mm -hmm. And that was basically my identity. I, you know, I was for sure going pro. Uh, high school came around. Like, my father left uh, when I was like 15. And that's when I kind of lost a lot of guidance. Yeah. I became a delinquent. And that's where the fucking the baseball went out the window. And I was still good enough to play through college. But it was, you know, it never amounted to yeah, going it was pro. The same. <clears throat> so, you know, once I made that realization that I wasn't going pro, I had to come back down, start selling health insurance with my, with my family, and I was always a little fucked in that situation because I had already I had a record. Yeah. <clears throat> so for me to get a job or even a fucking license and anything was a mission. I had to work through my 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 parents' licenses, and uh, I I kind of hated it, bro. I was honestly getting fucked up just to. Forget about the fact that I was doing that. Mm. Cuban Pepe Villete. What year was this? I want to say I was 20, probably 27, 20, 10, 11 years. 26, 27. Yeah, something like that. And uh, so this is like what, 20, 2012, 20, we're in 2024, uh, 2014, probably like 2012. 2012. Well, because Pepe Villete is like a staple of the community. He's the OG, but he bro. went out, uh, finish your story, but. He just disappeared for a while, and then I don't. Yeah. He never got that traction again. I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. felt I, like it, it's that's kind of the case. But I mean, him, him and the Peachy Boys were the original ones. Yeah, 
hundred percent. They were the first ones that started the whole fucking social media game, the YouTube shit. Yeah, I remember. Um, and bro, so then then the Twitter game blew up down here in Miami. Miami had a fucking an era there where everybody was on fucking Twitter. <laughs> I do remember. And uh, but baby, had to ran that shit. Like he was the one running that fucking that whole and. I basically tweeted for a living instead of selling insurance. Like, I didn't sell one fucking drop of insurance that year. <laughs> wow. And I'll just sit there in the office tweeting this motherfucker, tweeting this motherfucker. Going, okay. okay, I saw, you know how we were talking about how I just talked my shit? Yeah. That's what Bebe Rieta did. And he was like an alter ego. I said, yo, this motherfucker is able to say this shit. <laughs> like, I want to fucking be able to talk like that. I want to be able to express myself like that. He'll be out there, bro. I just, I fucking, I tweeted that motherfucker. To the point of no return. And, you know, I, I say funny shit. So he he took notice. He reached out. And, you know, the rest is history after that, bro. We linked up. Video. Yeah, I, was, I was like a little sidekick for a good <laughs> four years. Learning the ground. Learning the game. Learning it. Learning it. The thing with Pepe Yeta is that he has the, you know, it's a puppet. You know, so yeah. I, I I don't even, to this day, I don't think I know who's behind Pepe Vieta. Or <laughs> that, I mean, that's that's the lure. That, that's the that's, allure yeah, of that's the whole the thing. thing about it. If you know who he is, it'll kill the, it'll kill the vibe. Yeah, correct, correct. But so uh, the, the, but he is given that freedom because he's kind of having a mask. But you you have the freedom, and it's just your face out there, you know. Off. So it's totally like, raw, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so I get what you're saying, and my character, my persona, a Kawaii, is made up of a bunch of different alter egos that I have: grandfathers, uncles, yeah, degenerate fucking friends. <laughs> The and that they... was Pepe all in one. Pepe was Marielito. They came in Mariel, mm-hmm. and he fucking grew up here fucking in the 70s and 80s. And those are the same people that I grew up with. Like Those are the people that I was raised around. Yeah. So my characters, you know, and yeah, I, I feel like I lived all those characters at one throughout the course of my life. But all those, all those personas that I tap into are rooted in my grandfathers, my uncles, all that shit. And that's what Pepe Villeta was for me. That's why I saw him. I feel like a lot of people see me in terms of, holy shit, you know, you can keep it real around this motherfucker. He's just saying exactly what the fuck he wants. Tread lightly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. So, man. and you start getting into um, the tip or tat on Twitter. You get an opportunity with Pepe Yeah, and that's it. We started making videos. And, uh, you know, all, all the next three, four years was me learning. I, I get deleted for the first time there. Oh yeah, he got deleted. Uh, that, I got. I was getting deleted before fucking canceled. Getting canceled was a thing. Yeah, bro. that shit. That shit happened. I got deleted for the first time on Pepe I felt so fucking violated, bro. That I took the next three years. I got an Adderall prescription, and I learned how to fucking the whole Adobe suite. I learned Premiere. I learned After Effects. I learned video production because I wanted something to fall back on. In case they deleted my shit again, yeah, that's, that's smart. So I mean, and th- that's why my my productions are are a lot more higher yeah, quality yeah, than the, the next influencer. Warm sense. <clears throat> but after I, I got comfortable with that, then I relaunched my Instagram. That's right around the time that I started working with with Mister Fuchsia, and he came with a fuck shit, and that's when I kind of branched off into my own. And I started getting deleted like a motherfucker. And now we're here. I mean, it's, it's been a, it's been a, twice, it's been a series twice. four times. Four fucking times. And he came back. And, Brother, and the thing is that, like, when you, you did, when someone it. deletes your page, it's, you know, complete panic, they, they, you know? They, they like, that's your business. Lives. They block his lives. Bro, it's, uh, I'm, I'm blocked right now. I can't, I can't, I'd be going, I'd be live right now, but I can't go live until June 15th. Damn, man. Why and it's that? and it's over stupid shit like the this last community ones. guidelines and shit, no, bro. People like, reporting him. For of sure. course, you know this guy. It's, put, look it's at people his. reporting him because Instagram is not wild. It's, it's, it's the bro, haters. He's got a ton of people that send in, and that's how it happens, bro. Hello, bro. You can't cancel good shit like that, bro. So now you 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 come from you know you kind of learn how to be a comedian. You know you express yourself, and then how the hell did you get an, an opportunity for the improv? Like, well, that's, like, one of the biggest stages for a comedian, at least to, like, get to the next level. But first it was at Mesa, no? So, so, no, no. So, naturally, when I restarted all the Instagram shit again, um, the goal, naturally, stand-up was going to be a part of it. I just, I love stand-up. I was going to do it no matter what. But stand-up before social media was, you had to go from bar to bar saying jokes in front of yeah random drunk motherfuckers 
trying to get your name over. I saw I saw it as let me build my social media, build an audience, of course, and then invite the audience out to come see me. Correct. Mm. So I worked on that, worked on that, and in the meantime, I was doing video production for one of the bigger comedians out of Miami. Now I don't know if you guys know Cisco. Uh, yes, Gordito, yes, 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 Dominican. Huh? Yes. I was following him around doing sizzle reels for him on the video production side. So two years later, he's already a lot bigger. He's actually, he toured the country opening for Carlos Mencia. He asked me to come on the improv and that's how it all started. And by then I, my following on Instagram was already big enough that I was, I was bringing flow. in fucking half the, the, the imp half the, half the seats. And from there, and, it just build, bro. But there's a big difference between doing stand-up and, you know, being a social media, like, comedian. Without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. The majority it's... of them they can't do it, and if they do it, they don't do it properly. Yeah, you can't bro, transition. Get it's not easy to transition. live like that, bro. It's, it's writing, bro. It's It, it comes down to writing. Uh, and having a flow. St stand-up stand -up is being able to write and then reiterate what's on paper fluently. Yeah, bro. And make it seem like it wasn't written down. Exactly. You got to got a big pair of balls to stand up in front of people, exactly. bro. Charging them, you know, seventy five, one hundred fifty dollars, bro, to come watch you laugh. You know, it's not, it's not a, it's not an easy gig, bro. I mean, listen, I, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, yeah. I metal Dito before I sold insurance but do you, again. Do you have, <laughs> like, do you have moments that you're on the stage and you say something stupid and like nobody laughs and you're like, all right, fuck, well, what's going on right now? I, I, I think that. I think the one big part of stand up is not breaking character. If you if a joke doesn't land, you gotta continue. If if people pick up on the fact that you were expecting a laugh yeah. and you didn't That's get a good it. Point. That's a good point. It kills it kills oh. the it kills the vibe. To get the crowd back, it okay. takes more work. Um like there's comedians out there that'll be like, ah, so you guys didn't like that one, huh? And oh. I hate that shit. Like Yeah, that's yeah. now to answer your question more directly. There's moment. There's been plenty of times, even till recently, where right before going on stage, I, I'm like, yo, you can get the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> you can just leave. You're still gonna get the check. You're gonna hurry. Just get the fuck out of here. This is the door open. Here go on. Everything is fucking gone. But yeah, bro, it, it it'll and it'll never. I don't think it'll ever stop being like that. I think yeah. I'll, I think I'll get nervous unless sure. I'm plastered. Which is not good for me. One thing, I, I, I do my shows stone sober. Oh, and, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And that's because I had a bad experience <laughs> oh, where I fucking... Uh, you were blasting? I, actually, bro, it was one of my oh, first man. shows at a fucking pizzeria. And I was hosting and I was putting together... Um, That's actually how my fucking stand-up career started. A pizzeria? A pizzeria? A pizzeria All right, that's a good story. It's Mama Joe's. At North Miami. Okay, I'm, I'm familiar with them. That I think the dude from, if I'm not mistaken, the dude from the owns racket owns it too. And Angel? The exactly. Uh, the manager at the time asked me to do a fucking show. I said, fuck yeah, bro. And it was got 60 fucking people. It was a great success okay, for that's, me. That's why you do Tiki, because of Angel. Yeah, of course. It's my boy. That's how, that's how I made that original link. So that show was outdoor. I remember we're doing that show one day, and I'm just hosting it. I'm bringing, I'm, 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 com oh. I'm coming up, bringing up hosts. As you know, when you're a host, you're coming up, bringing up other comedians, doing a little bit yeah. of a set in between. <laughs> I I start my show sober as always, and in that one, I got a little confident, and I started fucking throwing down. <laughs> and I remember on one of those comedians done snug away. my my time to come up, and bro. Oh, I drew a blank like I just oh. I didn't I didn't there's nothing there was nothing coming out nothing was coming out of my mouth and I was staring at everybody in the face and I feel a drop of water <laughs> all of a sudden it starts raining bro oh god save me I said guys show's over oh, sorry are you serious? bro god save me and I never again did I fucking drink like that so you got saved by God in the uh, rain. God, it was like that. There was no fucking clearer message to me that God was like saying, "All right, puss ass boy, I got you. Straight. I got you on this one." I see now people know a little bit more about it. Yeah. Now, Listen. now the only time I'll drink is if like I have back to back shows that I, I already ran through a set once. Yeah, you're good. I, I can know. get loose and I know that I'm not gonna For forget sure. my fucking set. My Look, I'm being be careful. No, no, no. So, okay. Go ahead. Eh? Go, no, so this is something uh, you have many videos and uh, that have gone viral on this, and you are notoriously the cyclist. a cyclist hater. You know, uh, t 
Tell me a, a little I bit about why. I wouldn't say I'm a hater. I would say that I'm the fucking resistance. <laughs> Bro, I am. You know, we have, we have am, a big cycling community in Miami. Do okay. you own a bike? Is the question. So it's this is <laughs> what is the problem with that? This is all very interesting here. Yes. Number one, I am the self-proclaimed resinguita resistance. <laughs> These people, no bar on the resinga. <laughs> they are Miami's number one resinguitas. <laughs> so to answer your question, yes. <laughs> I have I own a fucking bike and I used to ride it a lot but I ride it like a normal fucking person in the community. Uh-huh. And and I didn't on ride the it on the road. Path. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is what I'm telling you. Like this is where I rode it on the road. But I hugged the fucking the side of it because listen, they they the cyclists have a point. You can't ride on the bike path. Okay. The, the 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 pavement isn't laid right. out correctly. There's a lot of dips know, and dumps, right? So, wait, so c- cyclists have come to you and tell you the reason why they're doing this. Oh my god, I know all of them. I know all the reasons. They're all they they write their reasons in the comments. <laughs> Literally, they tell me every last fucking reason they don't do it. Oh my god. Uh, so you so do do I it. do it by myself, and 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 you know it's not an issue to get around me. The real problem with these assholes. Is when they ride in packs yeah. of ten to fifteen fucking people, <laughs> and by the way, so it's 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 a it's a self perpetuating cycle of reasons of why they can't, and of reasons why we hate them, but those reasons are also why they can't not ride singles. The reason that they ride in such peloton, big pelotons, because that's that's what the word it yeah. means, is because it's less dangerous for them, because when they don't when you don't ride it when they ride with too little people. People are too aggressive with them. So they're riding Once they groups, see the mass, yeah. Which is a crock of shit because I'm still going to ride very damn close to that last motherfucker on the left yeah. no matter what. What it is is that they ride in those big-ass fucking groups because those those groups are the ones where the fucking accountants and the lawyers from Pinecrest que se creen aleta, yep. and they can't ride 20, 25 miles per hour. So they need to go in a peloton of 30 muertos. <laughs> That are all going fucking 10 miles per hour on a $30,000 bike. Because that's another one. That's another one. Every time you see these assholes on a bike. They're like Rolls Royces. There's not a bike there that costs less than $5,000. And this is, by the way, because a lot of them follow me. A lot of them fuck with me. They're not all assholes. Like, they can see past yeah, the, the, the comedy. And at the end of the day, I really... Don't give a fuck about them now. Now it's just now it's just the fucking. Yeah, they're yeah. my bread and butter. Yeah. <laughs> they're my bread and butter, so I'm gonna go have no matter they're what. Low hanging fruit. Yeah, bro. But listen, I, I live on a golf course and uh, on the Mikasuri oh, golf there, course. Oh, Yo, please. brother, and these guys they they're in packs, and you know I'm pretty cool. They don't move. You know they're, they're there and they're it's just there. Like, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Listen, wake up, wake up earlier. That's that's what they told me. Wake up earlier. Oh no. For work. But also, Take a different route to work. That's that's what they'll write. Damn. Hey, Papa, we're just we're not that much of an inconvenience. Wait an extra five minutes. Like that. Wow. Like that. And that's why it's also very uh um understandable that the majority of them are liberals. Yeah. Entitled. Well, Entitled. They think too. Hey, listen. No, the funniest ones are the ones that just put the whole outfit with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30, con la vancita, that's yeah. not aerodynamic at all. Bro, tell me about the guy Why with the yellow. Wearing... What about the guy with the yellow that you did? That you reenacted that whole thing and you put that shit on? Orange. It was orange. an orange, yeah, with the titties and shit. Yeah. Did you ever talk to that guy in one-on-one, bro? Of course not. Did he ever reach out? Did his oh, people reach out? Nah, that bro, guy, that, you seen that shit? No, yeah, I, well, give us a little bro, backstory on the video. Bro, sticking out this guy, bro. So, so first of all, <laughs> just... You wear that shit still, don't lie. That video, after I posted that video that for, at, went viral. for at least a month, I would have people Everywhere. from Everywhere. across the street going, My fucking tits! My fucking tits! Awesome. Everybody... So the, the the thing behind that video is that this guy popped up in Fort Lauderdale. Apparently, some woman didn't see him. She didn't even touch him. Hey, who gives a, he's a fucking beta. Like that's not how you handle that. It's okay to be pissed if you got hit by a car, but you don't you don't for it show it no like bajaro. Like get the fuck out of here. So he got hit by this woman and he starts for Mando's show, 
And, you know, he's afeminado con cojones. What the fuck? Like, I cannot believe you. You fucking hit me. And you're just standing there, yeah. bitch. You're oh just standing God. there. so crazy. And then when her fucking boyfriend got there. Yeah, and he was cool. He yeah. started getting brave when he heard the fucking cops. You boop, boop, look, they're here. What do you do, motherfucker? You know, all that bullshit. So this guy happened to have a large set of mammaries. Yeah. And the next, bro, I, I was all over that shit. The next day at 7 a.m., I told my girl, hey, let's go. You did it. Huh? Let's you go to 67 right there. You got fucking help so, uh, Did you have to buy your outfit? I, of course, bro. bro I, had, fucking, I, had to, I did a bra, stuffed bro, it. That's, oh, bro, but that's, that's the, the correct. The max, that's, yeah. bro, that's Taking advantage, and especially max. when you're doing something like current, like that. And it was know? so funny because everybody was thinking the same shit, bro. Those hit when, whenever you do it so fast. Bro, like when you get it, like, you, it, social media is well. You taught me that. You were telling me yeah. that the other day. It's rapid fire, bro. Like the other day, I was having uh, quick on whatever's it, relevant. I was having. Uh, I was getting a haircut. Y de casualidad, next to me was George, three hundred five eats, mm. and he's. We're just talking and stuff, and he tells me, he goes, "Bro, you don't think like you need to space it out a little bit more?" And I was like. Revés, bro. People are so fucking chismosos that they just want to. They're you, there. You gotta go rapid there, fire, the bro. Followers, bro. It's you know, a good topic. If you're, if you're if you're talking about a topic that's hot off the press, you're never gonna lose. Yeah, for sure, bro. Ever, ever. It's hey, just say what you want about this guy. He's community, bro. Because if he's talking about it, it's happening. Like sometimes things will happen. Yeah. Like locuras and stuff, and I, and I see right on the and he's doing his little discourse. On what he thinks about the situation, and boy, and it's right on. With but you know what? How, a lot it's of people right underestimate the time, the time that it takes, and the work that goes behind that. Sure. You know, to be uh, to have like the pulse in the community consistently is difficult. You know, and it's not just being funny, like he said. You know, it's building, writing. You know, like making it making sense because anybody can throw anything on there. And you're like, oh, well, another thing is that I'm one of the few influencers out here that it, it, my content is also opinion based. Like I'm actually telling you what the fuck I think, yeah. As opposed to a good point. other other comedians where they're yeah. just doing skits trying yeah. to make you Funny laugh, stuff, yeah. and, and I'm not, you know, it's, I'm not talking shit about them because they don't have an opinion. But that is that, and another reason why there's more people that dislike me because I'm out here telling you how I feel. Oh, you think they really dislike you, bro? Or they just want to fucking oh, liberals, yeah. Liberals, or, they, or they want to have the local yeah, the, cojones the, the, to they, say they what dis, they they dislike everybody. A hundred percent. They're they're. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Listen, I mean, if you don't it's got... A non, it's a non-issue, bro. That's, that's literally just part of the game. You're always going to have, especially when when uh, you pick a side, you're always going to have a good 50, 50, 60, yeah. 40 that oh, when dislike you're strong, you. Know, like you believe, I think it's more respectable than just bouncing back and forth. Listen, and it's, and it's people... You don't know how many people say, bro, don't do that. You don't pick a side, this and that. I feel that the... The base that I've built on picking my side yeah. is stronger than if it would have just been me on the fence, one hundred percent, not saying anything. It wouldn't be you, bro. Now, one thing that I yeah, one thing true. that I say a lot is oh because people people unfollow me and I make videos that cause people to unfollow me because of the politics. I prefer for any fucking liberal that's watching my shit. That is just a, an undercover fucking follower where they're not liking shit because that's the case with a lot of liberals. They're just watching. This is going to ham on these ones. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. <laughs> it's, it's, they're just watching. They know at the end of the day, oh, this, this guy's a fucking Trumper, so fuck him. So they're just waiting for you to say something yeah, that bro. they don't like to eventually go, um, that's an unfollowing. I'm an unfollowing. <laughs> wow. I don't like understand what people say. That. How yeah. am I going to sleep? Like if you give a fuck. Yeah. Listen, before you go back to your list, and I want to I wanna move on here for a second. The Peacocks, Primo. You know about the Peacocks? Hey, but to finish that no. point. To yeah, finish that ahead, point. I'm sorry, I thought you finished. Uh, I, I like ba basically purging these motherfuckers because they're algorithm that. killers. Yeah. Those motherfuckers that are just there watching, not commenting and everything, and just, just waiting. Want to gauge that. I've, seen, I've seen it on his story. Get those you motherfuckers know, out the know, way so that the content can be put in front of people who really give a fuck. Yeah, I've noticed that, like, even on, on A Day of Miami, like, we'll get, like, 30,000 views, which is really not much, bro, but we'll get, like, 130 comments, you know, or, like, 200 shares. So it's, like, very dense. Like, so you, it, it shows you that you have, like, a nice core. But it's a, it's a good point that he said about purging because that does mess up the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah you have a bunch of people that are watching your they're, fucking yeah, shit they're, yeah. that they're not liking or engaging, engaging because at the end of the day, they don't like you because they know that at the end of the day, you're a trumper. It's all a chismoso. Uh, they can't stop watching. They can't stop watching. 100%. The hug. Awesome, awesome. Um, so I don't know the story about the peacocks. The peacocks. So, so we'll call them uh, Bay guys. So okay. peacocks are second, are the second... 
uh, most notorious Resenguita. <laughs> they're they're fucking resengando hard throughout the neighborhood. Five years ago, it was cool to see a pico. Oh my god, mira lo que lindo, uh, yeah. que pájaro más lindo. Uh, until they started templando. Until now. Now, I see four fucking albino peacocks. You know how rare an albino peacock is? There's four in my block. <laughs> That's how many fucking peacocks uh, there are in Palmetto Bay. You'll come out on any given morning, and you can have a family of 14 four. fucking peacocks. Four. I've had four. 14 laid out, three on top of the car, three on the you roof. You think they're having peacock orgies? Well, I hear them having the fucking peacock. Ah! Like and, ah! they're, and they're protected, too. Yeah, but we low-key like, like him. We low-key like him. He, he, does, he says he hates it, but he low-key like Bullshit. Him. I like him so much that I'm starting up a fucking food truck. Did you hear this? Called okay. Criatura de Dios. Because that's that's what every fucking... Ay, no, mi hijo. Deja esos pájaros. Eso, eso es una criatura de Dios. So that's what we're calling the fucking peacock. Our main dish is going to be picacadillo con arroz. That's really fucking dope. <laughs> it's going to be peacock croquetas. Oh, my God. Eh, fricasse de peacock. Wow. Arroz con peacock. And, and then it's going to harvest them from the neighborhood? Sample. Of course. That, that's that we're sourcing. Is that, is that legal? Can we check that? Bro, I have no idea, legal? but if you need help with it, I can help you out. Pop really? <laughs> and how's we're, the truck going to be? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna stop. We're, not only are we going to feed the community, but we're also going to stop <laughs> the overpopulation, the nuisance that, that these you fucking say, birds and, and have and become. And you can add fucking, white, you can add iguanas to that menu white too, bro. Four white peacocks. No, it can't. And, and then bro. people, oh my God, why do you give a fuck, bro? Like, let the birds be. Okay. Put them in your house. When you come out of your house and there's a peacock. That's fighting its fucking reflection on your door. <laughs> fucking up your car too, bro. Fucking it up. Yeah. Oh, you're my gonna God. Come, come and get this fucking. And then the other Cubans. Oh, niño, eso es buena suerte, the Cubans. Get, and so they bueno, get, mama, come and get five birds worth of fucking buena suerte and take them over to your house. <laughs> Not they end up in the food truck. Okay, so guess what? Yeah, they're real fucking lucky when they're shitting over here in the driveway over oh here, no? Oh, my God, Marco. On top of the fact that the los mojones que they leave. Yeah, or nothing to fuck with. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. So you have I ten saw. birds leaving mojones on your driveway. Yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. It's kind of like the duck situation. You know, the, the ducks coming oh, and shit everywhere. Manera como el criatura de Dios. Criatura Look out Dios. for it. But is that serious? Like it's a serious 100%. business. Oh no. wow. Yeah. We're filing through the state already. That's really good stuff. All right. So give. Uh, I'm actually curious. Uh, you being in the co- in the um, in the comedy world. Right now, who are like your? Who are the ones you vibe with? Who you like? like? No, like Miami, I think is coming up with comedy, right? Who are your like top three comedians that you see? I think, you I know, think, Ed, the better question is who makes you laugh, right? Yeah, like who are, I think who the are your top three? Comedians down here are Cisco and Marcelo. 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 Yeah, yeah the one that, he's funny as fuck. He's funny yeah, as he's fuck. Funny. I like him a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cisco's another funny but comedian. That, uh, I like Mario. I like Mario stand up. Uh, Lamil. Yeah, he's funny as shit. That Raul I like Kong. I like Mario shit. I, I fuck with him. Outside of that, I think they're all whack. Yeah. Do you have a Do you have any opportunity to go to SNL yourself or? Nah. Nah. Boy, I, number one, I'm way too old. <laughs> they, nah, they don't want nothing to do with a forty year old. We were talking uh, about that about Marcelo's what we... just a beast, bro. Marcelo started that real young. He he understood. He he laid out his own path. And he executed hard, bro. And he deserves it. That that, that kid is talented as fuck. Well, let me tell you, I, I've met him a couple times. Um, I was so proud of that moment for one of our community guys and one of the people that you actually know to make it to that make level. It, no, it's hard, hard. Because for me, I, I, mean, worldwide. I never hated him. There's people that I always hate. I just I say, wow, bro. That's the top. Like bro. he did it, bro. That's exactly. But you know that's... what's funny? I used to see his like videos on Only and Date that he would talk and give like little recaps and stuff like that. And yeah. I was like, okay, he, you know, he's he's funny. You know, nothing crazy. Yeah. Nothing really stood out to me. Brother, when they put that guy on SNL, I don't know what happened to him. He's, he's a, trainee, I think he's, me... he's a better skit comedian. For he's, yeah, he's no, a, but he's like the stuff that he I does like that, yeah. with um, El Tipo Este, the, that big dude that he came out with and like being like a bouncer. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the gym, uh, I don't know. I forgot <laughs> his name right now. Aquaman. Okay, that shit was super fucking funny right yeah. and then he did a, he did another one with uh ryan gosling that that was super funny yeah, too bro. with the table and he has this little thing that when he's talking he like shakes his, like, it was, i was super he's proud his awesome. facial his facial gestures are fucking hilarious yeah he's bro. good and he's really good moment. his stand-up is great i haven't seen him stand up if you can see his stand he used to open for like when i would do my shows at la mesa he opened for me once there yeah, yeah he's a fucking beast bro because like, he did his thing has a the, the last 
10 minutes of what I've said about liberals who wouldn't, wouldn't grant me, never grant me yeah, a ticket never, on the yeah, show. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, never, ever. Never, never, All never, of Hollywood. Never. Now, what I can do, and that's that's the goal, is to start writing and, and producing a show of my own where you can sell it to a platform and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. But to make it to Hollywood and all that shit. But do you know how he got that opportunity or... or? Oh, like they he, just reached out to so, him. So I was or? telling Kigo, he was on my podcast a few years ago, and he explained to me when he went to college. He went to college for soccer to go play soccer, yeah. and he saw a real early, bro. He said, "Fuck this, I want to do stand up comedy." He started touring around his college, like it's a white, a white town, and after that, he said, "Fuck this shit, I'm going to New York," and he made his bones in New York, bro, doing the circuit you out the there, jump, bro. You Damn, bro, like a soldier. Like that's that's it. it Honestly, that's all, everything. Bebe, he would tell me, hey, Baba, you really want this to pop off? Go to L.A. Go to New York. That's one thing I never did. I, just, I stayed right here. Yeah, bro, but L.A. ran out of the shit show, too. No, I know, but this was 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah. You but think your he, comedy can transcend countrywide? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for or sure. You get kind of like maybe typecast as like the Miami community. Everybody thinks that. Everybody thinks that my shit only, would only survive in Miami, but you uh, see. I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's just about changing the lingo, bro. It's, my shit, trust, trust me, I have white people. They follow me and they go on areas. Black people. Yeah. I think a good gauge for whether you're funny is when black people think you're funny. Yeah. yeah. If black people yeah, think you're funny. Yeah, those are the originals. Yeah. They don't, they have no reason to fucking lie to you. They're not, they're not like white people or some Hispanics that they feel bad for you. <laughs> they, yeah. They don't like your gotta... shit, they ain't gonna laugh. For sure. If you're not funny, fuck it. Like, Bro, and, and my shit, well, my, my, my shit really is, is pertinent to Miami right now because of the lingo. I'm probably one of the few dudes that does Spanglish. Yeah. My set is like twenty percent, thirty percent Spanglish. So uh, how do the Balseros treat you, or the Balseros? I don't have a Balsero don't have following. Any, no. Nothing. But when you they comment don't, on when you when you talk English, they don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. All right, send us Yogi. Yeah, send us Yogi. They don't fuck with you. Because I know you got a whole content about that. Nah, so I have a qu- so the other day we put up a um, a video <laughs> of a fellow comedian, right? And in the comments, somebody wrote. Why does Kawayo hate him so much? Right? So, Fuchsia? Yeah. Who, so, who's Fuchsia? What is he talking about? <laughs> Mr. Fuchsia. Who's that? What are you talking so, about? It, 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 I had put a video of Mr. Red up. Oh, Mr. Right? Red. And in the comments, and, and you guys, and, and I, see, I know you guys come from the same world yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, and, I'm just, <laughs> and I'm just curious, okay? And, and, and So, there's a beef. I didn't even know about this. I didn't bro. know it was a beef or not, but. Bro, when I told you that I, that I took three years off to learn premiere and all that shit. When I came back that first time, he was on the dig Maquito because he used to follow me with Pepe. So he was on the dig, oh, Maquito, let's make videos, let's make videos. And I told him, all right, that's fine. Uh, we can make videos as long as I'm the one producing them and writing them because I don't like your fucking style of comedy, but I'm super down to use your fucking platform. <laughs> hey, bro, super honest. I mean, shit, it was exactly how it was. We made four or five bangers. And then the whole the whole thing. Oh, let me start editing. Let me. I, you know, he wanted to be more part of the editing process, and we said, "Look, it's it's all good. It ran its course. You go your way, I went my way." A few months down the, the 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 road, he started biting videos, straight up biting videos. He started biting everybody's videos. That that's one thing that pisses me off about everybody. That they were all complaining when it happened. Mario was complaining. Dairon was complaining that he was biting fucking videos. But nobody wanted, they didn't want the beef. They didn't want the smoke. Mm-hmm. And once he bit my shit, I wasn't going to fucking take it. And I, I went, I went public with it. And I started making, I made videos about Red, plenty of them. <clears throat> but, but when you say biting videos, it's like taking a stop. Biting ideas. Ideas, got and he, Him at the time, he had 150,000 followers where I had 30. Everybody else was under 50. Yeah. So he, I guess he felt like, I could take this shit. Nobody's going to act, you know, it's, nobody can act like it wasn't my idea. Gotcha. And then it kind of social media took that turn for when you know, like TikTok came out where biting became the thing. Yeah, repost. Because TikTok yeah, yeah. made plagiarism cool. Yeah. Literally. It's what TikTok was based on. So once that era hit, then it really kind of didn't matter anymore. Nobody ever heard him all for the fucking biting. But I remember when we used to work together, that motherfucker would tell me, you know, Kito, look, when we're trying to come up with ideas. Kito, look, we just go and we'll go to King Batch's page and be like, look, well, we do that, but just the Cuban version. I was like, Papa, that's not the way I wrote. And I, I just, I never, another thing is I never liked his writing. I don't like his videos. So, I don't know. 
Mm. That, the biting. Have, have, and, and I don't like being associated. Like, I don't want to do a video with him. Obviously, we're always being asked to do videos together and shit like yeah. that. I don't want to be associated with the comedy. Gotcha. Yeah, did, but have you ever spoken to him in person or anything like that about it? Or is like... Bro, we, we had text messages back and forth in those days. Uh, and he, he really wouldn't respond. It wasn't a thing. Now, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna take it to a physical realm. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's it's that. Right, I don't think necessary. it's necessary. Nah, but listen. But, but if he wants to have a celebrity death match, a celebrity boxing match, <laughs> ain't nobody wants I, that shit with you, dog. No, I know that. The, I will never do him alone because he's a female weight. What I would do is that I would do a two on one with him and Laz, que godito that he does videos with. Do a two on one. Yeah, or, or, or we could do like, 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 a, like a comedy face off. Yeah, bro, I guess. <laughs> Hollow back. <laughs> Hollow back. You wanted it, bro. No, listen, that's fine. I mean, listen, I get along with Red, and then, and, and, you know, yeah, he, to me, he, I've always had a good relationship yeah, listen, with him. You know? And, 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 and I know he's a good, I know, at the end of the day, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. But he's a good guy. And he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He doesn't write. He doesn't fucking write. All right, so you're out there a lot, right? To, uh, something a little bit more lighthearted. I think it's something we ask everybody, all right? And this shit always gets uh, everybody amped up. What is El Caballo top three places to go and eat? Like, what are your top three we're locations? We're talking like Ritzy or we're talking... Whatever uh, you like, because he did a food review the other day, and uh, I was pretty impressed. I know he paid oh, for wow. his shit, and... Uh, it was a food review that I think a lot of people were looking for because it was really what he thought about it, you know. And well, when you have someone like this that speaks freely, this no, is actually I mean, the people that you want to review your food. That's the truth. Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm terrible. Everything's great, you know. Like, I don't like yeah, to like throw anybody that, shade on somebody. After that video, now the invites start coming. Hey, we'd love right, oh, you and your sure. girl. And what the fuck are you going to say? This place sucks. Thank you, They're man. already there. They're already there. I'm looking is that for, something you're going to be... I'm looking, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. That, that's a good route I think, he wants to, I think he wants beef con Carrigo con Kiko, guys. What do you think, bro? <laughs> DM him, bro. Get off my... I'm just kidding. Though. We do one of them together yeah. one of these days. For sure. But yeah, I think that that's... Now you got to write my own shit, though. <laughs> so give me, give me your top no, but, three places, your top three go-to spots, you know, in Miami yeah. for and, you to go and just... And why you're going to be doing food reviews now. <clears throat> well, the food review was just a... It was good content. I loved it. It was, easy, it was easy for me. And uh, I think I think I have a whole different take on the food review shit, as opposed to right now it's very generic across yeah, the board. Gen- it's, like, it's very it's advertising. Eats, bro, it's everybody kind of sounds like Mister Eats. Yeah. Um, wings. I'll start like that. Oof. My favorite wings in the city. Don't say Flannies. Though. By far, get the fuck out of here. They microwave their wings. You know that right now. I love Flannies. Listen, listen, listen. bro. Let's move off. Top off. You All right, go go. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Give me your heathen. top three, bro. I love wings. Two mummies sponsored. This fucking uh, <laughs> best wings are Corbett's. Bro, it's, I was there the other day for the first time with that big guy that works there. You gotta, you gotta but order let me tell Dave's. You, but they weren't. They're not the best. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. You, you didn't order Dave's. It's a special off the menu. Oh. It's a, a negro back there. Chefs up this fucking recipe. What does That's, it have? Tell me, tell me. I don't know about that. I could it's, it's like a Cajun, day, not Daytona because it's not wet. It's fucking dry. Papa, I promise you, I've never I, used a sauce once in my, like a ranch or nothing, and they come dry with, with the, I couldn't tell you damn. what the seasoning, but you got to go there and ask for the Dave's. first time. I live over there. I didn't know about that I place, been there. Bro. That place is open till 5 a.m. <laughs> every day of the week. Saturday, yeah. yeah it's totally lady shit. And it's it Sunnyland. Sunny yeah, I used to go to real Sunnyland. Nobody knows. It's Pomaro Bay name, bro. No. Okay. Sorry, lindo. So uh, what else? Tell me, tell me, because I didn't know about that. And by the way, just to clarify, you, Flanagan's is a sponsor? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> I, when I did the whole, no. back during the pandemic, this I had... This guy's looking around. <laughs> 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 where's the, right, no, where's the, the sign? Spine, I said it. No, 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 go ahead, uh, bro. I did the whole best wings conversation back uh, during the pandemic. And obviously, I was shitting on the Flanagan's wings back then too, bro. Because you can just, I don't know how the fuck you like those things. You I like could, the, you the juicy. Tell. Like when they told me, I was like, okay, it all makes sense. Uh, people were talking about Flanagan's. I was shitting on it, and then cooks started reaching out to me from Flanagan's. They told me more than one told me they're microwaved. No, fucking right before way, they get bro. them out to you, they microwave oh, just, them. They just destroyed my life, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I eat Flanagan's twice a week, week bro. bro. What's a week? Sports Grill is always a fucking Special solid pick. Grill. Yeah. Come on, it's bro. always a solid pick, but. 
I don't think it's the best. I think that the Corbett slaps it up, bro. You but have to Dave's, ask for Dave's. I gotta go check it out. You have, have to ask out. for Dave's. It's I not on the menu. This place. I went to see a Panther game with my kids the other day because I always go to the Roasters and Toasters. And then my buddy goes, bro, well, Corbett's like, bro, what the fuck is Corbett's? What are you talking about? He goes, bro, it's a little... Bro, been there 30 years. Like you said, open till 4 in the morning on Saturday. Don't know where the pine But that's up north? Who does it? No, that's no, down south here. Down south. Palmetto Bay. Palmetto Bay. Oh, yeah. Thirdly, real quick, yeah, wings. Something that you, the, like your third best kind of like wing. Did you, did you mention the second one, right? He's, yeah. I would say sports no, girls he, probably he, my he, second favorite. Right? And then after that, I would do um, the one, but the Pinecrest one, uh, Keg South. Keg South. I've seen that a lot, too. So what about Hole in the Wall? Trash. I know, well, bro. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it either, man. And I've been there like multiple times. That they bro. have. Like, like I don't like, like I don't anything. Know, I think on it's all hype. Where are you taking your girl? Like you got a date night. I know you got a girl now. Where are you taking your girl for? Like uh, it's her birthday. Palacio de Jugos. Or something that she you want to. What do you think? <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, listen. So I guess we do it by by steak. Whatever, primo. Whatever. That fucking that place I reviewed was off the chain, bro. Oh, what was it again? You want to mention Be- it? Beauty and the Butcher. Beauty and the Butcher. Oh, it's yeah. right there in South Miami where the old 347 shooter used to yep. be. Mm-hmm. That's just tight work. Really? Um, what, what what prompted you to do a review? Is it just, is just random or? Bro, I've been I've been trying to get into that game for a minute. And me and my girl went on there on Tuesday. You pay for your meal, right? Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, I mean, that's normal. That way you can be straight and honest. But uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think you being a food critic... The way that you are now, you know, yeah, kind of putting things component, together. Component, I think, for his arsenal. I think it's no, great. no. I'm 100%. saying, like, you know, what I'm saying, you would be very interesting to actually listen to. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We like, should take him. We should take him to one of the lunches, bro. But the thing is, like, this is the, the double edged sword. Now, if he shits on something, you know, it right. might not be good for the business. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you have to create like a scale where no, but, oh, he but, but, we have to create a yeah. scale where it's not. As aggressive, how it's Dave Portney did, correct? How Dave Portney did with the pizza, I do horsepower. Where everything always yeah. gets like a seven, you know? I do horsepower, one there through ten. Right, and he can kind and, of be like, and what, what I'm gonna do? My favorite, correct. You know, after that first one, what I realize I'm gonna do, and it's because of that. What I realize I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna I'm gonna judge it on different facets of the restaurant. So, for example, appetizers. I'll give the place X for appetizers, service, entrees. I'm gonna break it up like that. So that it's not, because I also don't want to fuck with people's business. Imagine they had a bad day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just think it now, days, bro, it's like, bro, just, just say it's not your favorite. Or don't yeah, no, that's right. What I do is I don't post about it, so you're not going to hear from it. Pero me. la cosa, that, yeah, that, goes against, that, that goes against yeah, yeah, his character, though. Like, I understand. You know, no, goes, I know his thing is different, but like I said, he's done it before where he's, yeah. you say you don't like it, but you've been, the way yeah. you say it, you don't like it, it was one of my favorites, I wouldn't order again. That's yeah. it. You, know? you could be like, this is complete dog shit. But this is good, yeah, you know, and yeah, they, you can still tough. come here for this. That's, tough, that, that's, that's why. That's family, why I would like bro. to break it up between different things, yeah, you so have that to. I can give props to maybe something Correct. in the fucking place, because I'm sure that not every place is all terrible. It's hard when it's. A well, family. listen, we have a lot of restaurant clients, so if you want to start going to them and rating them, bro, you have the the list. Are you yours. ready to gain a little weight with me? You're yeah. gonna have to do more gym work. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put in more work. I'm, I'm ready though, bro. I'm ready. Look, one thing I wanted to do, the the way Portnoy rates the pizzas, yeah. I wanted to do that with Kroge does. That's a good thing. Like, because I'm talking about hole in, in the wall Kroge My favorite Kroge Okay, yeah. Top three Kroge in the city. Eh, Which La is... Floridita. Oof. Fish Kroge That's first. I don't like the fish. I like the regular ham or whatever. You know, I mean, you, I'll, I'll eat the, the fish. fish yeah, I've had it. It's good. Hmm. But I just like, I like ham Kroge does. Oh, no. they have a fucking cheese one there, I think, From too. La Florida, wow. That right? shit is fucking amazing. Number two. Isla Canaria. Fact. Oof. And uh, three. Number three. Probably Vicky's. But that's a Catalina croquetas, no? No, no. They have house, so, oh, look, they so, have house croquetas? So me, me and Vicky's had, I think, like, f- in 2019, I had a show. I started a show that's called that's Croqueta that's Con Caballo. What, do you remember, you know, the show Hot Ones? Yeah, yeah. Where the wings. steps up. And the I wings. did that with, with Croquetas. And Vicky's was my sponsor. In those days, they came out with una Croqueta called Vicky's Croqueta that was exclusive. That shit was really good. I don't know if they still have it. I, I don't, don't know. So. I don't, I don't think so. We're, don't, we're yeah. actually working right now to, with, we're trying to see, if we just with Burger Beast to bring back Croqueta Palooza. Bro, we're going to have yeah, him as one of our good. judges or one of our Count influencers at Croqueta. Count me yeah. in. Oh, yeah, what shows you got coming up so we can... Anything you got going on we need to know about? Every month, projects. June 8th, I'm going to have a show at the Hard Rock. June 8th. It's, uh, it's, uh, I'm hosting the show. It's on the rooftop. 
venue above the Dare Club. Pool party, right? Is no, it's not a pool party. Isn't there a pool up there or something? Or? It's above the venue with ah. the pool. It's on the rooftop party. It's also where I do my UFC watch parties. Um, I'm still waiting to book my next improv gig. That should be in about two months. Or one of that one. Oh, what are you waiting for? Uh, for them to book me. It's kind of difficult to book a weekend uh, gig there unless you're doing all three days. Who do you talk to, Robbie? A uh, Melissa. She's the manager. Yeah, I talked to Melissa too. Yeah. Robbie was here. Robbie from the Oh, yeah. He yeah, was, no, was a, guy, a good friend of mine, too. Good friend of mine. No, he's I'm the like, man. Hey, hey, wait, come on. <laughs> he's a good guy, bro. And he's a very big, very big supporter, actually. No, he's, a, he's, a, he's a beast, bro. Yeah. So you keep grinding. Caballo. Un placer, brother. My man, nice Marcos. Bro. Hey, Caballo, bro. The, one of my favorite guys. He's the best. Follow him. He's the, he's the man. And Holla thank you for back. coming, buddy. Appreciate you, yeah, bro. Yeah, buddy. Thank you.